Hello there guys and girls and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator where today I've got a pretty impressive review for you guys. I'm finally getting around to looking at the Munich scenery guys from Aerosoft and Simwings. Guys and girls, this airport is absolutely nuts. There's a lot to show, so let's get into it. Developers Aerosoft and Simwings have gone absolutely over the top with this incredible scenery of Munich International Airport in Germany, guys. And just look at it. The scale, the amount of scenery and depth they put into this uh, airport is absolutely breathtaking. And surprisingly, it runs really, really well. Uh, now, obviously, they've done so many cool things to this airport. The features like the Aero Bridge and all the taxiway ground markings are laid out to the decimal point. They look absolutely brilliant. The airport itself features 4K resolute textures as well as PBR and loads of incredible moving elements of the scenery as well as a fully integrated custom night lighting to make it really stand out. Guys, this is nothing short of incredible and for just 20 euros it can be yours. Just to point out guys, I'm not sponsored in any way by Aerosoft to say this. This is just honestly probably one of my favorite airports if not my favorite Payware airport that I currently own. It is so damn cool. So then, let's talk features. What does the airport have that most airports don't or do have? Well, the first thing being the aero bridges that go over the roads uh, to cross to the runways. Now, this is probably my favorite feature in the entire airport just because it's so unique and so cool. Quite a few of the main airports in Germany and I believe in France there's a few as well. Uh, the runways go over the roads and it's just so cool for it to be actually modeled correctly and uh, done realistically here. So as you can see with the cargo Lufthansa are going over the aero bridge right now it just looks so damn cool so that's a really cool feature obviously all the jetways are actually functional as per like microsoft flight simulator's like default jetway connection system it, it all works here and with the o2 was the advertisement on the side and all the other like features around the aircraft all being able to work properly and integrate with the aircraft it's it's so damn cool and realistic now limitations with this airport is probably with VATSIM currently. Uh, when flying at, on VATSIM, uh, you do have an FPS drop. Now, the, F the FPS at the airport itself is not actually bad at all. It's a barely any, like, notice, like, you, you won't notice it, but as soon as you load other aircraft in, yeah, it does get frame intensive pretty quickly, but that is too expected with a larger style airport such as this one. Finally then guys, in conclusion on some final notes as well, there is a lot of 3D elements, the actual terminals themselves, you can go inside them, there is loads of areas where you can actually look through the glass and see your aircraft, it is also just a really cool feature that the uh, sim has, or rather that this airport has, I don't know why I would say it's sim, uh, but guys and girls, absolutely amazing, be sure to go check out the main area in the centre of the airfield as well, as it also is fully modelled and has loads of advertisement around, guys and girls, I can't wait to see more products coming from Aerosoft, there are loads of things they're pumping out at the moment, I'll be sure to have a look at them at some point in the future. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, guys, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.